Hi everyone. Uh, I just wanted to give everyone a shout out to all my followers and my subscribers and uh, say uh, happy holidays uh, to everyone. Uh, one of the things that I've been playing with um, over the holidays is the uh, software that comes in the Humble Bundle uh, game dev software. Um, as I record in this, there is seven days left uh, to purchase this bundle and it's a, a pay what you want uh, bundle of um, quite interesting little bits of software for uh, game developers. Um, you can pay from $1 uh, or the average price or $10. Uh, the reason I was uh, paying, uh, buying this particular bundle was I uh, was buying myself another license of uh, Pico 8, uh, which is included in this uh, bundle if you pay more than uh, $6.78. Um, and I went for the uh, $10 option and bought all of the software. Um, and there's quite some interesting pieces of software in here. So what I'll probably be doing is I'll be recording uh, a couple of videos uh, touching on each of uh, these uh, bits of software. Uh, so the first piece we have is uh, Click Team Fusion, uh, which is kind of a a game development uh, environment. Uh, it's quite interesting. It's all point and click. Uh, doesn't require any coding. Um, so and it's got quite a lot of nice little features there for building uh, Windows games. Um, the next one is the pixel edit, uh, which is a great little tool for doing pixel art, pixel animation, and in particular, uh, creating uh, uh, tiles or pixel based uh, tiles, um, which is very cool. Uh, next up is Spriter. Uh, so Spriter is a uh, 2D animation uh, tool. It uh, allows you to do a whole bunch of different types of animation, in particular cutout animation where you basically chop your uh, image up into uh, different pieces and then put bones and animate with that. And then you can export out as uh, sprite sheets for different software, um, or you can um, actually um, export out the kind of boned animation uh, into various uh, platforms to get really um, ultra smooth 2D animation. Um, so that's Spriter Pro. Um, they also come in part of the bundle is a... Uh, a bunch of um, art packs. So, in the base one dollar or more level, you get the uh, Game Pro Game Effects art pack, uh, which has got all sorts of explosions and things. Um, if you pay uh, more than the average of six dollars uh, seventy-eight currently, uh, you also get the HTML5 exporter for uh, Click Team Fusion. Uh, by default, Click Team Fusion standard only does uh, a Windows export. Um, but they have a couple of add-ons that do other platforms, so the HTML5 ex exporter. Um, Marmoset uh, Hexels is a really interesting uh, little uh, graphics app. Um, it's a tool designed to do hex-based and um, ISO uh, ISO based uh, kind of graphics. Um, in fact, it lets you kind of do any grid-based painting and actually do really, really interesting custom grids and shapes to paint on. Uh, so I'll show you that. Um, for some strange reason, they also threw in a Todoist, which is like a to-do app a subscription. Um, and then we have, uh, for Spriter Pro, we have a bunch of um, additional art packs. So we have the Adventure Platform art pack, the Run and Gun Platformer art pack um, added in there, and the, uh, the Basic Platformer added in there. Um, then we have uh, Pico 8 of course, which is what I was after the license for. Um, next up is Sprite Illuminator. So this is a tool that lets you create normal maps for your 2D uh, sprites, which then lets you um, kind of use real-time lighting in 2D game engines to kind of give your 2D sprites some kind of depth and, and the ability to light them from different angles with uh, fairly realistic lighting. Um, they also have... Uh, some more Spriter art packs, in this case the uh, role-playing game heroes and their, their shoot 'em up um, art packs, which are, are pretty cool, uh, particularly if you kind of wanted to do uh, character art for your role-playing games or adventure games. Um, and then there's Voxatron. So this is built by the same guy who did uh, Pixel 8, uh, I mean Pico 8. Uh, and it's kind of very similar to Pico 8, except that rather than just being a like 2D old school console, it's actually a, a voxel uh, based console and in, in, so you can kind of make any kind of Minecraft-esque voxel type games uh, using uh, Voxatron. And then the last thing they include is a 1Password family subscription uh, 
for one year as well if you if you needed that. Uh, so in all in all, some uh, interesting bits of software in there. Um, and as I said, I'll I'll be covering uh, just a quick overview video for some of these in the near future. All right. Well, uh, that's about it. I'll wrap it up there. And I hope everyone has had a good holiday.